This is a sample speaking test created by the Australian Academy India. Reach out to us to get access to all four modules for practice and online classes. Start speaking now. Stop speaking now and listen to the sample answer prepared by us. Hello, uncle. I'm delighted to hear that you're well and have been discharged from the hospital after dealing with food poisoning. It's a relief that you're back on your feet. Now, let's discuss how you can take care of yourself and maintain healthy eating habits moving forward. You should gradually reintroduce solid foods into your diet. Opt for gentle options like plain rice, boiled potatoes, or steamed vegetables while avoiding spicy, greasy, or heavy foods for now. Hydration is vital, so focus on staying well hydrated. Drink plenty of water, herbal teas, or clear broths to help flush out toxins from your system and support your recovery. Eating smaller, more frequent meals may be more comfortable for you at this stage. Listen to your body and eat when you feel ready. For personalized dietary advice, consult a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian. They can provide tailored recommendations based on your specific needs. Lastly, remember the importance of food hygiene to prevent future food poisoning incidents. Always wash your hands before eating, store food properly, and ensure that meats are cooked thoroughly. By following these steps, you can take care of yourself during your recovery and maintain a healthy lifestyle to prevent future health problems. Your well-being is important to all of us, so please take this advice seriously. Start speaking now.
Stop speaking now and listen to the sample answer prepared by us. In 1914, a ship named the Kamigata Maru arrived in Vancouver, Canada, carrying 376 passengers, mostly from Punjab, India. They sought to immigrate to Canada but faced a major hurdle. Canada had strict immigration policies, including the Continuous Passage Regulation, which required immigrants to have a continuous journey from their home country to Canada. As the Kamigata Maru had made stops along the way, the passengers were denied entry. They were held in Vancouver Harbor for two months, enduring harsh conditions with food and water shortages. Despite protests and legal challenges, the Canadian government forced the ship to return to India. The Kamigata Maru incident stands as a symbol of racial discrimination and the challenges faced by South Asian immigrants in Canada's history. It highlights the hardships endured by early South Asian settlers in the country, marking a significant chapter in Canada's immigration history. Start speaking now. Stop speaking now and listen to the sample answer prepared by us. This picture presents a scene of a delightful pet show in complete disarray being held in a classroom. Let me paint the picture for you. At the top left, the teacher wears a shocked expression as a camel unexpectedly stands at the classroom door. In the center, a friendly crocodile takes center stage, loved by two fearless students. One girl hugs the crocodile while a boy touches its hand. Another boy even swings from its tail in the background. To the right of the crocodile, there's an open cage on a table. Students work together to release a red bird from its cage. In the foreground, there are two tables and five chairs. Next to the left table, three students manage three animals. A boy with glasses cuddles a squirrel. A girl with black hair enjoys a playful cat around her neck. In front of the left table, a girl with brown hair holds an iguana and watches a boy crawling on the floor, chasing a snake. At the right table, one boy looks frightened by ants and rabbits that escaped from a cage on the table. This classroom is buzzing with excitement, filled with curious kids and mischievous animals, a truly unique and lively pet show. Start speaking now.
Stop speaking now and listen to the sample answer prepared by us. In this intriguing picture, we can make some predictions about what might happen next. First, it's evident that the teacher is taken aback by the camel's unexpected entrance. We can predict that the teacher will likely try to figure out how the camel got there and whether it needs to be safely removed from the classroom. The crocodile in the center of attention seems friendly, with the two brave students showing no fear. It's possible that other students might be encouraged by their peers and gather around to get a closer look at the crocodile. Some may even want to touch it or take selfies with it. Regarding the red bird that the students are freeing from the cage, we can predict that it might take flight once it's released. Students may watch in awe as it soars around the classroom, adding to the chaos. The students holding various animals will likely continue to care for and play with them. As for the white mouse, it's likely that some students will chase after it, attempting to catch it. In summary, this classroom could involve a flurry of activities as the teacher addresses the camel, students interact with the animals, and the red bird takes flight, all while the white mouse continues its adventure. Start speaking now. Stop speaking now and listen to the sample answer prepared by us. Mark, I understand you're leaning towards the anti-theft laptop backpack, but let me make my case for the pure leather laptop bag. It's not just a bag, it's a style statement. With its classic look, it's sure to turn heads and make your friends stand out. Plus, it's waterproof, perfect for Canada's unpredictable weather. The one-year warranty shows its quality, and the cushioned laptop compartment keeps the laptop safe. It's the right size, not too bulky. And at just $28.54, it's a great deal. Additionally, the pure leather laptop bag is versatile. Your friend can use it for both work and casual outings, making it a practical choice for various occasions. So, Mark, while the anti-theft backpack is good, the pure leather bag combines fashion, durability, practicality, and versatility. It's the perfect gift choice for your friend. Trust me, they'll love it.
Start speaking now. Stop speaking now and listen to the sample answer prepared by us. Hello. I want to share something important with you. Recently, I visited a cancer hospital and it was a life-changing experience. I saw the challenges that cancer patients face and it moved me deeply. As an organization, we have the power to make a real difference in their lives. I'm here to request that we allocate more funds to support cancer patients. These additional funds can be used for their medical treatments, counseling, and helping their families cope. I understand that our resources are limited, but even a small increase in support can mean the world to them. It's about showing compassion and giving them hope during their difficult journey. By doing this, we not only provide financial assistance, but also show that we genuinely care about their well-being. It aligns with our core values of empathy and kindness. I kindly urge our higher authorities to consider this proposal seriously. Together, we can have a profound impact on the lives of cancer patients. Thank you for your time and consideration. Start speaking now. Stop speaking now and listen to the sample answer prepared by us. In my view, the overpopulation of urban areas does bring about a lot of problems. It can strain resources, infrastructure, and the environment, leading to a lower quality of life for people living there. However, there are ways for both governments and individuals to tackle these issues. For governments, urban planning is key. They can invest in things like better public transportation, green spaces, and affordable housing. These improvements can help accommodate more people while reducing traffic and pollution. Governments can also encourage businesses to set up shop in less crowded areas, spreading job opportunities around. Promoting education and family planning is another way to help control population growth in the long run. 
individuals can do their part too. They can make informed choices about family size and use contraception to help manage population growth. Additionally, we can all be more responsible with resources, like using less water and energy and reducing waste. In summary, overpopulation in urban areas is a real challenge, but it's not insurmountable. With smart urban planning, job distribution, education, and responsible family planning, we can make cities more livable and sustainable for everyone. Start speaking now. Stop speaking now and listen to the sample answer prepared by us. Hey Tony, I just wanted to share something really extraordinary that I saw today. Unfortunately, I couldn't snap a picture of it, but I had to share this with you. I came across the most unique couch I've ever seen. What's so unusual about it? Well, it's made entirely out of marble. Yes, you heard that right, marble. It's a striking combination of blue and white, and the design is what truly sets it apart. The sitting area and the backrest are like two separate pieces of marble art, and they're somehow joined together. It's like having a genuine work of art right in your living room. Now, I can't vouch for its comfort since I didn't sit on it, but it's not your typical couch. It's more of an art piece than practical furniture. I thought it could be a captivating addition to someone's home. I was thinking about you when I saw it, and I wanted to get your thoughts on it. It's definitely unique and creative, and I think it could be a great conversation starter in your place. Give me a call when you get a chance, and we can chat more about it. Take care.